Hey guys, you probably saw that the amount of jobs that were added in August to the economy was actually way lower than expected. 245,000 jobs. A lot of people attribute that to the rise of the Delta virus and people maybe slowing down on hiring. But one thing we can be sure of is that there are a lot of jobs available in America. There's 10 and a half million jobs right now available. One thing that we're starting to see is unemployment benefits being turned off or at least not the incentives added by the federal government. So that might bring more people to work. But right now we gotta deal with what's here and now. So job wage growth in America so far is up about 4.8%. The challenge is that inflation is also up 5.2%, so eating up all those gains. So when we look at this and we say, okay, what's gonna happen in terms of the real estate market, the real estate industry? Lawrence Yoon, the chief economist for the International Association of Realtors tells us, his expectation is that the government is gonna to start to taper off, maybe more ex faster than we expected uh, with its monetary policy in terms of buying back mortgage-backed securities. So what happens with our industry is that a lot of people look at the Fed rate as being, you know, when the Fed changes its rate, it changes the interest rate of mortgages. It's not really a direct correlation there. That's really dealing with short-term interest rates which impact, you know, car loans and short-term credit card debt and all those kinds of things. When we're talking about long-term mortgages, that's much more impacted by the bond market where people are going and buying mortgage-backed securities. The U.S. government is buying 40, 50 percent of all U.S. backed securities, upwards of 40, 50, 100 billion dollars a month. <laughs> so as they taper back, that will have a much bigger impact on interest rates than anything else. So they're already talking about doing a tapering starting in before the end of 2021. So when that occurs and we start to see interest rates rise, that will impact us more than anything else. And here's how it's going to impact us. Number one, buying power. Buyers will not be able to afford as much home because as interest rates rise, it puts pressure on their ability to pay more. Also, sellers will feel the pressure because buyers won't be able to pay as much. They're going to be pulling back on what they can afford to spend. So it'll put sellers under a little bit of pressure there as well. So what's the messaging behind all this? When we know what's happening, we can see it's not a crystal ball. We know that even the Mortgage Bankers Association expects that by the end of next year where we're at, 12 months from now, they expect interest rates to be about 4.2%. Considering that we're under 3% now, that would be a pretty massive increase. It's basically a 25% increase in what people are paying in terms of interest rates. So if we know that's on the horizon, whether it's in the next six months, 12 months, 18 months, doesn't it make sense for your buyers to get in the market today and take advantage of interest rates that are at 60 year lows? And then also, it doesn't it make sense for sellers to take advantage of this increased buying power that current buyers have in our marketplace? Of course it does. What we have to do is position ourselves as the absolute undisputed preeminent expert in our market and talk numbers, talk turkey with our buyers and sellers, put out videos, put out emails, put out informational uh, uh, statistics that people can latch on to. When we give people that data, at the very least, they're going to look at you differently. They're going to look at you as the expert in the marketplace and they're going to trust you. What you're trying to build is trust and authority and what you have to say. And then people will put their trust in you to help them buy and sell a home. Hope this helps you today. Go out there and shake the money tree. Have a great day. We'll see you right back here at eRealEstateCoach very soon. Mm -hmm.